What's up gamers, Gamer Extract here, and I'm going to be showing you how to install Haxchi. It's a very useful thing for when you're modding, and it's very easy to get into the um, homebrew with the Haxchi. So I just wanted to do a quick tutorial, because I did promise some people in the last video that I was going to make this, this tutorial. But before I do, I want to address some questions some people have had in my last modding tutorial. Um, so this is for my How to Mod Super Smash Brothers tutorial. Um, first question is, does this work for all mod packs? And as far as I know, yes. Um, modding Super Smash Brothers does work for all mod packs. Um, <clears throat> at least the ones for your current region. Not all mod packs work for all regions, but if it works for your region, chances are it should this method that method should work for that. Um, and a lot of people have been asking what the FS git mount source failed means. Um, that means that your SD card isn't reading properly. Um, and if it says it cannot boot the homebrew launcher dot elf, that means there's something wrong in that folder and you need to try to figure out what happened. Never happened to me, so I can't exactly explain how that works. Um, one person asks um, if you need to use the SD card adapter that I used, and no. Um, I use an SD card adapter because I use a micro SD card, so I use that adapter. But if you have a normal SD card that works, um, don't use the USB port, though, for that adapter, because then it counts as a USB and the last ma major question I saw was is there any way to do this with individual game banana mods and yes ish you have to use the uh, like dumping method which is a little complicated but I'll leave a link in that description and this one to show how to dump that it's a video that I found that is very helpful but very confusing to me so if you want to learn how to do that I'll leave a link for down below and one major question for Haxchi is can I use anything other than brain age for Haxchi and yes I'm currently going to be using Super Mario 64 DS as far as I know it works with all like DS games so I'm first I gotta walk you through this part because go to the internet browser and also I noticed in the comments of my last video um, some people have been having issues with the link that I provided so what I suggest is going to this website oh hang on I have an auto launch I don't want to do that because I want to show you what to do so what I do is I go to lodine.ovh and I choose the top um, the top selection um, you can't see it on the gamepad but I'm choosing what is on screen right now and I can have this set so it automatically tries but you just click submit and then it tries to load the homebrew launcher and this method works a lot better the other web website <clears throat> was updated so it doesn't work as well anymore when I made that thing when I made that tutorial but now we are going now we are in the homebrew menu and this is what mine looks like yours should look very similar I'm just showing you everything that I have and if you don't have everything, you can go to the Homebrew App Store and download a lot of these. So if something doesn't work, if you at least have the Homebrew App Store, don't use the Homebrew App Store Dark um, because for some reason that likes to glitch out on me. But the normal Homebrew App Store works just fine for me. So go to that and download whatever it says you, you need. 
And you see right there where it says Hacks Chi Installer. We're going to click on that and then load. I'm not sure if it's going to show everything on my gamepad. If not, I will record the screen. Okay, it's showing everything. So now you can see right here I'm using Super Mario 64 DS. So you cannot use the touch screen, I forgot. But you would press A. Then it will remove the game. So you cannot play this game while Hacks Chi is installed. So you have to reinstall the game in order to play it again. So delete and then reinstall, um, for example, Super Mario 64 DS in order to play that and then just do this method again when you want Hacks Chi. And then you press A and make sure it's all working properly. All right, and then Hacks Chi is done. You just wait for everything to be finished. And <clears throat> I like, there we go. You don't press anything, it takes you back to the menu itself. And now it's coming back to the Wii U menu. And once that's done, then you're going to be able to use your Hacks Chi whenever you want. And for people who don't know what Hacks Chi is, Hacks Chi is a way so you can get to the homebrew menu without using the browser method like I showed you. Um, I already had Hacks Chi installed, but I had to get rid of it. That way I could do the tutorial. So you can delete your game and then reinstall it, because that's what I did. But now I'm going to go and... Oh, wait. I can't exactly show you. Hang on. I will take a picture on my phone and put it in the link below, showing you that I have Hacks Chi. And I can't record my gamepad screen. So, there's that, and then you can just click on Hacks G, which is what I just did. And there, there we go, Hacks G is opening. And a lot of people say it's a 100% chance of getting into the homebrew browser w with Hacks G. But to me, I'd say it's about maybe a 90% chance, because sometimes it does crash when you try to log in. And also, something I do recommend um, while I have you, um, downloading the Mocha software and then downloading the um, <clears throat> homebrew, um, homebrew channel installer. That way the homebrew menu is on your website, is on your main page, I'm sorry. All right, go on the main page. Because once you install Mocha, then Hacks-Chi will crash your system if you try opening it up again. So, once you, so basically use Hacks-Chi, use Mocha, then you can use the Homebrew Installer. And in order to use the Homebrew Installer, you can use the WUP Installer and just have the link where it needs to be. And then... Maybe I'll do a tutorial if demand is high enough. But yeah, I'm mainly rambling, but yep, that's how you use the um, Hacks Chi. So I hope that was informative. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And I will see you in the next video.